everyone, it's Frank again with another budget mud truck video. Today I'm going to be installing a mini spool on the budget mud truck's front Dana 44. Just to give you a little background, I initially was planning to just weld both diffs on this truck, but when I saw this mini spool for only $35 on eBay, I thought this would be a more solid option and easier to install. It probably is more solid than the welded diff, but I was definitely wrong about it being an easier install though. Upon removing the diff cover, I quickly found out that I was going to have to completely remove the carrier to get this mini spool in. That means I have to partially pull out both axle shafts so the carrier can come out. The driver's side was easy, once all the bolts were out, the axle shaft came out just a little bit, really nice and easy. The passenger side was a different story. These Dana 44s had a stupid CAD system, which makes everything more difficult. This was a pain to do, but you wouldn't know it because my camera died, so instead, you just get to see the end product. After trying to get it out with a mini crowbar I had in hand, and bending a couple screwdrivers, I had a brilliant idea tied up a strap to an ATV and tried to pull it out. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Stop, 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 stop. Obviously, that played out in my head much better than in real life. So, I had to take a trip to Home Depot and I got myself a large crowbar, which in turn made quick work of removing the carrier. Once the carrier was out, I removed the spider gears and I put in the mini spool. Problem is, the mini spool was too big to spin in the carrier. I grinded down the mini spool, and while I had it out, I cleaned up the diff cover and painted it. Then I put everything back together again. And that's it. This was a pretty short video, mainly because I was missing a lot of footage. But as always, if you enjoy this type of content, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Thank you for watching.